What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel. Today's video we're going to cover something I mentioned in my last video which was my review of the TNC4. In that video I mentioned that I ran into a situation with my Yezu FTM400 where there's no mobile linked cable available for it. There is however a cable for the DigiRig made for the FTM400 but that cable unfortunately isn't compatible with mobile linked TNCs. Not to worry though, hang around and I'll show you how you can make an easy converter and get on the air doing packet radio with it. We're approaching a restricted area. Restricted area is one mile west. I know I haven't spoken about the digi rig on my channel yet, so I'll briefly go into it. This little device here called a DigiRig is simply put a USB sound card with the ability to activate the PTT on your radio. It also has serial port capability to allow you to program your radio with Chirp or other software depending on which radio you're using. I know I've talked a lot about TNCs on my channel, but to be clear, the DigiRig in itself is not a TNC. You can connect this to a computer or a Raspberry Pi running Direwolf, which is a software-based uh, TNC though, which would then allow you to do packet radio using the DigiRig. And this is actually what we're doing at our remote DigiPeter site. The DigiRig is similar to the TNC4 and Nucleo TNC that I've talked about on my channel in that it also interfaces using a cable that plugs into the speaker mic jack on your radio, and then the other end connects via a TRRS plug that goes into the TNC itself. There is one difference though, the two rings in the TRRS plug are actually swapped. If you're not familiar with TRRS connectors, it looks a lot like the headphone plugs you're probably used to seeing, but with one extra ring. As you can see here, I have a standard headphone plug on the left, which is TRS, and a TRRS plug on the right. TRRS stands for Tip Ring Ring Sleeve. And it's these two ring sections that are swapped on the DigiRig compared to the mobile linked TNCs. And that is why you need to build this adapter if you want to use the cable made for the DigiRig with your mobile linked TNC. It's a really simple project to make this adapter and I'll get into showing you how now. For this project you'll need two of these TRRS boards and some wire to solder. I'll include links in the video description below for the parts needed. You'll also need four wires cut to the same length, ideally four wires of different colors to avoid any confusion. For these projects I have this box of five different colored wires that I like to use. To start soldering, I put the ends of the wires in each hole in the TRRS board, bent them 90 degrees, used a helping hand to hold the board in place, then used another helping hand to hold the wires in place and began soldering. Soldering has continued to be a struggle even after putting a new tip on, but I did receive a comment from Paul here with some purchase recommendations and some remedies that I will definitely be trying. Thank you for the info, Paul. Once you're done soldering the first board, you can move on to the next. Just be sure to swap the two rings. So ring one on one board should go to ring two on the other, and ring two to ring one as you can see here. Once the other board is all soldered you're all done. The last part you'll need is a TRRS cable with a male plug on each end. This cable will plug into the adapter you just made and the other end into your TNC. Then your DigiRig cable will plug into the other side of the adapter you just made and then into your radio. You should then be good to go and ready to test so let's test it out and see how it goes. As you can see here, the test is successful when you have a working adapter to use a DigiRig cable with your mobile linked TNC. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you all and have a good one. 